Hey guys, it's Jeremy here. I'm going to be showing you this cool 3D fur effect in Illustrator. You can use it on typography or you can use it on illustrations and you get a really cool fur effect as you can see here. And I'll just zoom in quickly and you can see all this nice detail. The only warning I'm going to give is that it might crash your Illustrator if your computer is very slow. So have some decent amount of RAM or a good PC um, to do this effect or else it might slow it down a lot. So just keep that in mind. So first up, Gonna create an artboard. I'm just gonna create a rectangle and color it. I went ahead and got some nice jungle colors on Adobe Color. So you can see my swatches there. Nice set of green colors. I'm going to press T for the type tool and just select a font. I'm using Futura for now and it's bold. I'm gonna go ahead and type in animal and I'll just make it white and just holding shift and left clicking and dragging, scaling that up. Gonna put it in the middle there and I'm just gonna bump up the tracking there holding alt and the right arrow key so just give it some more space might scale it down a bit and what I'm gonna do now is create outlines because we need it to be a shape so I'm gonna go to type in the top left corner click on that menu and go about halfway down you'll see create outlines we want to click that and this will turn the type into a shape and what we're going to do now is I'm going to duplicate this shape. So I'm going to hold Alt and Shift and left click and drag on this shape and just drag it to the right. About there, about halfway, give it some space. I'm just going to color this a, just a dark, that green color. And I'm going to bring the other one on top like this. And I'm going to make this color one of the lighter greens. Yeah, I'll pick this light green here like that. So we have two shapes that are like this and you can see how it's grouped together. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to select this shape, select this shape, go to the top left corner and press object, go to blend and we're going to press make. So we're going to blend these two shapes together. So I'm going to click make and now you can see it's out of the new shape but it's not what we want. So I'll go back to blend so I'll go object blend and I'll go to blend options as you can see there. I'm going to click preview so I can see what's happening. I'm going to change the spacing to specified steps and I'll type in about 100 and you don't have to worry about the orientation you can just leave it as it is and now you can see it looks like a smooth gradient but it's actually 100 little shapes in between that. So if I press OK you can see like it's all these shapes so it's connecting together so you can see that it's pretty cool so now we have this now what I want to do is I'm going to select it so they should be grouped together now because we blended it so just select it and I'm going to go effect in the top left corner I'm going to go distort and transform and we want to go to the right and click on roughen click that and what I'm going to do now is don't worry about points, just leave it on corner because it doesn't actually change the effect much and you can leave it on relative and what I'm going to do, the sizing, you can keep it pretty low so 5% is fine and the detail I'm going to bump it to about 65 and then I'm going to press preview and it's processing and I can sort of see a bit of the effect so if I press OK if, if, and it's, if you zoom out, you can see it looks like a very furry letters, which is pretty cool. And if you zoom in, you can see all these layers now and that gradient. So it's good that we had two different colors so you can see the gradient and all those little effects and those shapes. They're all pretty much abstract shapes. But obviously, you're not going to be zoomed in heaps. You're going to be zoomed out and you can see it looks like fur. And if I want to go back and edit, I can go object, blend, um, sorry, go back to effect, distort and roughen and I can play with the size. I'll make sure I tick preview so I can see what's going to happen. And it's just going to load a bit. So I can bump up the size. But you can see how it's reapplying the effect on top of the effect. So if you want to redo the effect um, from the start, make sure you do it right the first time. If you don't like it, press Control Z or just make another copy on the artboard because what's happening now is it's applying the same roughen so you can't edit it. So if I add more detail, it's probably going to make it go more crazy. And you can see how it's it's making it load heaps. 
So just keep that in mind. Um, do it with the with the rough until you can't edit. You have to do it the first time around. And if you don't like it, then you just. So I'm just gonna press OK there. You can see how it's loaded heaps. And now it's just fully distorted the shapes and it's gone like wacky as. But you can see how it lagged my computer, but it's kind of looking cool. When it's zoomed out, it looks, you can't see the um, inner shapes of the letters now, of the A's, which is okay. But yeah, so that's what you can do. You can create these cool effects. And I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Comment, like, and subscribe for more tutorials every week. And leave a comment below, like what tutorials you want to see, what you want to learn. And I'll be glad to teach you that.